Oh dear, Izuma. Oh dear. Look at this city. Oh my goodness me. The traffic is bad. Things are falling apart. But the question is, can we fix it? Hello everybody, welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines with me, Biffa. And here we are in the city of Santa Vegas, I think it's called, Santa Vargas, from Izuma. My good buddy Izuma sent this city over. He's been streaming this city um, and he's uploaded, there's like about six hours if you want to go and watch him build in this city. There's a couple of videos, three hours long each, on his Izuma 2 channel, which I'll link to below. You can go and check those out and see him build in this city. But he sent it over to me and said, how do you fancy doing a city fix? And I haven't done one for a while. So I thought, why not jump into Izuma City and see what we can do? There's a log in the middle of the road. Izuma, I'm shocked and appalled at yours. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. These things happen. So yeah, it'd be really interesting to take a look. So I've loaded this city up. We're going to do our normal thing that we do um, with our mods and stuff. Because you're looking at the city now thinking... Well, what needs fixing? Everything is working okay. Well, if we come out of, of that view, you've got to look, we can get a, a nice overview of the city. Lovely island build. Looking nice, looking nice. But if we have a look here, he was using a few mods, and I did notice that he was using Traffic Manager. Now, for those that don't know, when you load up a save and you've got Traffic Manager on it, Traffic Manager will have the settings that are in the save that were being used. And if we take a look at that, <gasps> shock oh my goodness he had easy mode on yes look at that so basically easy mode is vanilla mode that is the way the game normally works when the traffic gets too bad the game just says i oh, will remove those cars nobody who's gonna know nobody's gonna know and they just make the cars disappear and um, we have a look at the traffic not bad i mean 74 percent uh, we can see he's got a few big long underground tunnels going on here i can see these sort of things being set up you know sometimes people put those in to sort of solve traffic problems which is fine you know which is fine a little bit of traffic down here get into the downtown uh, over here a few bits and pieces but what we are going to do is give the city the ultimate test we're going to turn off traffic despawning and run the city and see what happens got a lot of things turned off over here i don't know why i haven't watched the six hour long uh, stream <laughs> haven't had a chance we've just got back away from a bit of time off we thought you know what we need some time off we're gonna go away have a nice week's holiday together as a family and we all caught covid yeah fantastic so my two boys are okay back at school my wife's okay for me oh look at that truck in there oh you know what i've got some extra assets in here look <laughs> you're gonna see some weird looking vehicles don't worry about that uh yeah and for me unfortunately it's dragged on a bit um the exhaustion and the chesty cough is still with me so if i sound a bit bunged up and that is the way it's going to be so that's so what we're going to do we're going to come out of this view we are going to click this button here there we go and if we hover over that now it says no despawning hard mode bigger traffic jams so we can keep an eye on the city to see how bad the traffic gets i'm going to run this at three speed and then I'll be back with you in a few moments. Okay, well, look, let's see how things are going in the city. Judging by this little section here, uh, not so well. We have a lot of places that are backing up with traffic. Uh, what are we at? 63,000. We're actually gaining a bit of population. We were losing some. That's why I decided to stop. Still making money, though, unbelievably, which is great. But 47 percent traffic flow that is pretty pretty rough and we can see it's now affecting the city they can't come and pick up the dead lots of buildings being abandoned some people without water oh look at that rookie mistake <laughs> no it happens it happens okay right so let's just start diving around the city and solving some of these problems um we look at this look they're all coming down this great big long road and hitting into here but not using this road over here which is interesting. Uh, what is the reason for that? We can see this is a tram road. So there's a lot of people wanting to drive on the tram road. And then it's coming down to here. And just completely blocking up in this section. So tram roads are great. Um, but unfortunately, <laughs> you get logs on the tram road. They're not so great. We'll delete that. Um, yeah, you can't make them any wider. Unless, of course, you go for the super duper wide tram road. Now, I'm just a bit confused as to why they're doing coming down here but not using this one see this road connects down here gives ah oh, you've got one-way roads down here she so brought everybody out one way one way coming along here i bet that is something to do with what's going on here 
So you're forcing everybody to use this other road. So what I'm going to do is we're going to downgrade this. I'm going to just use the roads you've got over here to this nice four lane road, which goes in both directions. And we're going to hook that up to there. And we're going to put it into here as well. So normally when I see this sort of thing, it's because people have had traffic problems and then they've tried to manipulate the traffic with roads going in different ways. But more often than not, you don't have to do that. So it's going to take a few moments for all of this traffic to sort of work out what's going on. Hopefully, they're going to start using this larger road down here, which means we probably could do with removing the rock from the middle of the road. We take this one here. Control left click. We'll get dedicated turning lanes coming in. Unfortunately, it'll probably mess with our bus lanes and things. Yeah, so we're going to just need... Oh, you've got that as a bus road all the way down there. Mm, I what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the end piece to not bus roads. There we go. Uh, to not bus lane. So they can come down the bus lane. Then they're going to merge in. And then you've got a dedicated left and right for what's going on. And then at the end here, we do have a traffic light. I'm going to change this to a time traffic light. And we're going to use the quick setup. Control left click. Not always the best way of doing it. But that's what we're going to do. So what I don't want is this all backing up too much. We want people to come down here to use this area quite happily. Um, along here. I mean, you could put... I'm just looking. You've got so many roads coming off in each direction. Oh, also say, quick sip of tea. Yeah, we've got so many roads coming off in each direction. I mean, most of the time, as you can see, for instance, here. Do a control left click there. It is just a T-junction. This is just a T-junction. This is a big crossroads. This one here, this road that everybody's using down here. I mean, we could ban the cars coming down here, which would be great just to sort of keep the, the trams going. But I'm thinking, I'm just going to do a control left click there. I think we're just going to keep that going. It was a lot of buses, which are taking up a lot of space. I'm just doing control left click along here to add dedicated turning lanes. They're coming down here and then they're all coming down. It's just one of these big circles. They're just continuing round, blocking each other up. And then they're all coming up to here and just sitting here looking at each other. Yeah. So we've got a dedicated lane going each way, which is good. I am also going to put in here. There we go. A quick time traffic light. It's not set up along with this one here. So that might cause an issue, but we'll see how that goes. We might find if we give it a few minutes, things will start working better. It's going to take a while to unclog all of this. I'll tell you what, I'm going to leave that running for a while. Oh, man. So this up here is causing an issue. Uh, let's add some dedicated lanes in there. Control left click again. And I'm going to set up this roundabout, which isn't set up correctly. So if you're using Traffic Manager, uh, if you hover over priority signs, you can do shift control and click like that. And it will highlight the roundabout. And if we shift control, left click, boink. There we go. So now we'll get one lane for going off which works quite well. I mean, as we said, these roads under here only need to be single lanes anyway, so we only need one lane going off. Um, and then we've got this up here is following round two into our industrial estate. Right, okay. Which is all getting blocked up by people going on the highway and down here. Right, let's look at this junction. Okay, so a lot of cars are coming up here. Some want to come off. And then when they come down here, they're coming into this section, um, which has got one-way roads going out. So it's just sort of forcing people down here. I'm not a big fan of sort of using one-way roads to force people to go in certain directions. Um, I'm going to put those back as two-lane roads. Ideally, I mean, I haven't got my vanilla plus plus roads. Uh, yeah, we put that in like that. There we go. So we're going to get some. So this is the asymmetrical roads. Let's just do that so we don't get rid of your path. So now at the end, we get two lanes going in each direction. We're going to do the same there. So now we've got two ways they can go. This one up here also needs an asymmetrical road. I'm going to, have to do that again. Uh, that way round. And then also that way round. There we go. So when they get to the end, they've got a lane for each direction. Yeah, in here, four lane road would be handy, but we don't have one. Um, this seriously needs to be a traffic light in there a roundabout would be better but a traffic light it will be 
And then this down here, see what's happening is they're coming down and they were blocking people coming up this way. I'm going to remove this log and then after that, we're just going to ignore them. <laughs> that is going to be it because they're just everywhere. Actually, if I get the movie mods and go like that, there we go. Now here, yeah, we've got one lane doing two things. So if we just take the in-game tool, this one down here, and click that road, what we can see is there's people coming down here, but some want to go straight on, but they can't because they're getting stuck behind everybody here. If you're looking very closely, this lane is doing straight on and right. So again, dedicated turning lane, control left click there. So those that want to go straight on will go straight on. And then we need to do a little bit of lane mathematics here look there we go look, we can see some people going straight on now um because they're all just mer these want to get over and merge and this is too many people coming up here what have we got we've got three lanes coming up then we've got one lane going off and then is this going down to two lanes let's just use the picker picker tool yes yeah, so you've done that but then it's two lanes hitting a three lane what we could do is do this as two lanes as well so now we've got two lanes and two lanes going into a four lane this one here just to give these guys a fighting chance and we could keep that oh you got sound barriers let's put the sound barriers in four lane four lane we could just do four lane all the way along like that so you can still now have the one lane going off which also means up here we can use these lane connectors select this node where these two three one, two, and three roads join. And then control S. Hugo there. And they all get a lane each. So they're all going to come. And then they're going to merge a bit further on. But it just helped them to get out a bit. There we go. Some of these are saying, yep, I really do want to go straight on. Which is good. Just another, yep, that's good. And then this lane here is that one underneath. Look, another one of the ones underneath. This is why things like this. If you set this, let me show you, to just a one lane. That is all you need and um, yep upgrade so if we do that carefully so now it's only one lane coming into here so if you actually did want to help out with any traffic up here you could just upgrade this little section here to four lanes then you could do the same here with the hugo there so everybody gets a lane then they merge here and that just works a little bit easier um so yeah keep that in mind Okay, so these are coming up here. These are getting blocked down here. Let's use the in-game tool again. Select this road here. There we go. Same thing. We've got one lane doing everything. So we can see some want to come down here, but some want to go straight on as well, but they can't. This is such a busy road. Yeah, if I pause the game, I'm going to do that. So we've got a road for going left and a road for straight on. We might as well just do that all the way along there. Then we'll just use the move it mod to get rid of the trees in the road. There we go. Excellent. So now, if we just make sure these have got a dedicated turning lane. Yeah, and what I'm also going to do is say no lane switching in the middle. So you go there, control S, straight through. You're going to go straight through there. Anyway, it means they can use these two lanes for backing up all the way. Yeah, see, some of these are going around the corner there as well. So we could also do a bit of lane mathematics there. Uh, this two-lane road here. There we go. Dedicated turning lane. So now they can come off. We could still have one lane coming off, but they will split to go in either of those, and they will go left or right. There we go. Excellent. They don't need to stop in this bit in the middle. So you go through. Excellent. We do have a crossing there, but that's not too bad. Um, let's just do that so you don't change lanes in the middle. They pick their lane over here. And then it's just back to this heaving mass. What are we at? 49%. So ever so slowly going up. But this this down here is just going to need a while to go down. But look, it's not backed up as far up here. And more people are using this, which is good. I think what I'm going to do is just leave all of that for a few moments. And just tackle a couple of other spots in the city, which are causing major tail bats. Look at this. Almost backing up outside the map. And what's going to help here, again, is a bit of lane mathematics. I can guarantee that this lane under here, sorry, ore mining truck, is being used for two things. So there's two ways of fixing it, as we saw before. We can do that and do control left click, which will make that one lane come off down here. Or, in this case, a bit of lane mathematics. This junction is sort of, it comes with the game. Uh, it is the way it's set up. If we get the two lane highway and change that, 
there we go so we've got one lane going off two lanes straight on it just automatically does it for you so if you don't have the traffic manager tool you're playing in vanilla then that's something you can just do there we go so that's going to help all the way along there and then all you need to do is where the traffic comes out so going off is okay and when it comes out we just want to say you go there they get a lane each then they'll merge further on uh, the other side we've got one lane going off and then when it comes back on again to stop them swinging right across the motorway like that we'll do that there we go then they'll merge it just stops any sort of backing up along here which is good so what we'll see now is if we select this road give it a little chance to update because we've changed the road there we go and some people do just want to go straight on not everybody wants to come off there's a lot of people Oh, yeah, that just goes straight outside the city. Yeah, So, yeah, most people are going to be coming down here because this is to come into the city, which is fair enough. Um, here we could do with a little, little bit of help. So we're going to say, Hugo, there. Let's have a look. It goes into three lanes. Probably doesn't need to be three lanes along here, although you do have this nice bridge, which if I change this to two lanes, you won't have that bridge. So maybe we'll just do that. We'll say... You come in and get this lane. You stay in that lane for a few. And then you can start merging when you get further down. Uh, here, we definitely want a dedicated lane going off. Control left click, one lane going off. And then, see, then ideally, I would like this to be two lanes. Because my sort of rule of thumb is, I mean, this, you know, there's all sorts of different rules of thumb. This is the one that I go with. You've got a roundabout with three lanes on. Have the lanes that are coming in and going out as two lanes. It just works a little bit better. The game just likes it a bit better. Oh, I was on the right thing, wasn't I? So as we do have three lanes with one going off, I'm going to make this uh, two lanes along here. Um, you are using the one with the sound barrier. So I'm just being careful I don't destroy anything. There we go. And then we can have that. Coming off the highway actually doesn't matter as much. And you're going into the big highway thing there. So I'll leave that. Uh, two lanes coming in here. That's fine. So, yeah, this one here. We've got three lanes, one going off. There's no reason that can't be two lanes, which is good. Now we get a dedicated turning off lane, which is better. And this is two lanes coming in. That's good. And then we'll just set up the roundabout. So what that's done is it's made these... Oh, it just hasn't done any of it. Has it done it now? Yeah, it hasn't done it. Oh, that's, that's a bit weird. It should put the giveaway signs for everybody coming on like that so it stops people coming out and blocking each other it should put uh it's done that so this is i just called it you go through <laughs> on the roundabout so these cars on the roundabout will keep going yeah this needs a dedicated turning lane as well yeah it's weird it just hasn't done them hmm, strange yeah so it'll do the you go through this one here but not when you're coming on to the roundabout so that's fine yeah not that one there but this one here yep yeah, that's fine that's fine uh, not that one there. There we go. So that then just keeps the roundabout moving a little bit smoother. Which means this traffic up here should not back up as much, hopefully. Let's just keep an eye on that for a moment. Okay, it's getting there. It's getting there. Things are moving well on the roundabout. There's a lot of traffic coming. As we saw before, it was backed up, wasn't it? Almost out of the city. Let's just take a look. Oh, there we go. Look, it was backed up all the way up here. Uh, how far would have that been? Yeah, over there somewhere. Now it's only sort of backed up to here. So that is going down nicely, which is what we want to see. So let's just leave that running. And then hopefully what will happen is once this isn't backed up so much. Oh, we're getting another auto save. Uh, once that isn't backed up so much, it will mean the, these other sides here, the traffic can come out uh, easily as well. So that'll be good. Okay, just looking at this area as this traffic is going down, you've got this little bridge that goes over the top, Sophie Bridge it's called, which is which is good. So you're connecting this side to this side without having to go through this roundabout. Um, but yeah, always worth just using this in-game tool here, this traffic routes tool. I think I've got this road at the end selected. So we can see a lot want to come out and turn left a lot also want to go straight on but you're using a single lane road so they're just sort of blocking each other up so again this is an opportunity where you can put in one of these asymmetrical three lane roads so we're going to do that at the end we'll put some anarchy in and we'll just do that there we go excellent and oh it's this bit here as well isn't it uh that one 
I think that is the two lanes going out. That should be okay. It's hard to see, isn't it? Because they've all sort of been squished together. But that should then give people the option if they want to go over here. Yeah, it's these two are so close together. So what I'm going to do, just so we can see what's going on, I'm going to do that. Yeah, there we go. I've got my asymmetric facing the wrong way. So if I get that and then upgrade it and face it the other way. There we go. Then we can do a control left click, give everybody dedicated lanes going in each direction. Now I can go back to the move it mod and do undo. Doink. And it will just squidge all that back together. So we know, whoops, this road coming out of here has got a lane for left and a lane for going straight on. So once this sort of goes down, which is all connected to what we've just been fixing, uh, things should go a lot better. Let's just do... We've got traffic lights there. Yeah, we have got traffic lights there. I'm going to just change that and have give way, give way, and let these go. So let's have a look at this. This is going down. This is going down. Look at that. Doesn't even back up as far as that junction anymore. Excellent, excellent, excellent. That is what we want to see. I'll just let the game run a bit. Um, I've made a couple of little adjustments with some asymmetrical roads over here where there's a lot of people coming down. This is super busy because we've got the football stadium here, the aquarium. Is that the sea and skyscraper? All of these. There's a lot going on. But we can see this little bridge over the top here, not half as busy as it was before. This roundabout, look at that, moving along. I've just um, upgraded this one to three lanes again just to help the traffic get moving. Um, and then what I've done, let me just show you, because there's a lot of cars, or there was a lot of cars coming out of here, which, to be honest, I could probably just take away these little fixes again, but we'll, we'll leave them in so I can show you. So I made this a dedicated right-hand lane, so that's connected to here, which makes that come straight off, which meant I needed another uh, lane, this one here, for coming off, and that's gone into those two lanes. So then I upgraded that to three, just to keep them moving along here. Um, and then I've also stopped them lane switching all the way down here. So they've got the lane going down. No lane switching all the way back. Um, and then what I've done is I've allowed them to go down here. Um, it's actually this one here. I've done that one wrong, haven't I? That should be like that. Take that one off. There we go. So anybody in the outside lane can go down one lane there and then go down one more lane here. Anyone in the bottom can go up one lane there and up one lane again. And it just spreads out the lane switching because there's so many cars coming into the city. I mean, overall, what I would do is have another way into the city. Because at the minute, this is everything. Everybody comes in here and then just spreads out. And it's just taking up a lot. I mean, you've got this other highway here, I suppose. Maybe if you connected these two together with a bridge, that would also help. But overall, this area here, much, much better, which is good. Let's take a little look. So a little bit red still over here. It sort of ebbs and flows. But yeah, now that this is moving, this will help with that area a lot better. What are we at overall? Oh, look at that. 76%, which is brilliant. Something else that can really help with roundabouts like this, just before we move on to another area, is you may have heard me speak about this before, but the way this comes into the roundabout, it's a right angle junction, straight in, and it's like a right angle to get out. Instead of having this coming straight in, we know we've got two lanes coming in and two lanes coming out, then we can change this roundabout to be something like this. There we go. So we've got the two lanes going in like that and two lanes out like that. And that just means instead of it being a right angle, what's that, 45 degrees or something? And it just means that when the cars get the opportunity to go, let's just speed this up a bit, that they have more chance of getting out. We can take them a, a few minutes to get used to that. Uh, we don't need them stopping there. So we're going to go go straight through there, go straight through there. I've set this up so it's two lanes in, two lanes out. You could curve that round a bit better, but I've just sort of fit this in with what we've got going on here. And we probably don't need that anymore. Um, and then let's give dedicated turning lanes there. There we go. And hopefully that will help. There we go. When they go, two or three get out at a time. And now they're using both lanes. So that should stop this up here. So let's just give it a second and see how that goes. There we go. It's getting better and better. So once this traffic over the bridge here has gone, it means that these can get out more and it doesn't back up so much down here. There we go. Look, it's barely backing up to that little corner there now, which is fantastic. So we could even do that 
Possibly the same over here because there's so much traffic coming out here. Or we could try and look and see what your mass transit is like, which I think is going to help in an area like this. So let's just take a quick overview. What have you got? Uh, you've got a lot of bus lines. Some of these have got tons and tons of vehicles. Let's just take a look at these here. 30, 30, 27, 6. Oh my goodness. What is going on over here? They're all getting caught up over this side. Oh, it's like a turnaround area, but unfortunately it sort of crosses over. This is probably what is causing most of your traffic is all these buses coming down into that section. All right, we'll take a closer look at that in, in a second. I can see what you've done. You've sort of hooked it up here. Let's just close that again with the tram that you've got coming through here. So you've got... Yeah, places where they can cross over from one to the other, which is good. You know, that's a good idea. I'm just wondering whether we could do that any differently yet. Yeah, we'll have a look at that in a sec. What else have we got? Back to the buses. Let's have a look at how many vehicles. So 14 vehicles. To, okay, not too bad. Let's have a look at how many passengers. I wonder whether this one here, the circle line. See, that one is sort of not really keeping up. So you're getting to the point where you need more larger options for transporting people around so you've got one tram line which is not really again keeping up with the people that you've got that want to use it okay metro lines now of course they're good because we can hide them underground and i want to make sure these are taking care of all the passengers so yeah this one here they are metro line one let's have a look at metro line two lots of people waiting so this what can happen in the game is that people queue up and wait for whatever form of transport they're queuing for and after a while they have a wait time they won't wait if it's too long um so this one here these lines are filling up but people might not be going there they might be get, then going on the buses and things so i'm going to double this to 10 this is on metro line two let's have a look at line number three Again, 200 people waiting there. We've got three. Let me double that to six. I'm hoping your metro lines are set up okay. I'm assuming they are, so we're not going to get too much of a backup. Uh, this one here, lots of metros that aren't all being used. So I'm just going to drop that down by one. And then we're going to let that run uh, for a bit and see how it goes. Let's just take an overview of your metro. So you've got a big loop here, which is good on your main island. Then we've got like one that branches off and comes over here to daffodil square we've got a stop up there which is good then we've got this one that branches off here over to hillside square and uh, let me just recolor your line so i can see what is going where okay so you've got your red line which is going around the great big loop okay what we could do there as well is have another line uh, going in the opposite direction to that one because at the minute yeah we've only got it going in one way that's a long way for people to travel. So let me add one going in the other direction as well. Complete the line. Okay. So that was the red one. So Metro Line 1. Um, what should we say? That was clockwise. Copy. Paste. Yeah. Counterclockwise. Okay. There we go. Let's look at our next one. So our blue line. Um, so this one is coming along here. Down to here. And then shooting off up here okay yeah see it doesn't have stops on both sides either i'll tell you what i'm going to leave it where it is but we're going to add stops on both sides um so there is the end which seems a bit too far for me i want to keep this loop separate yeah do you know what i'm going to do we're going to remove from there and here i want it only to come into this one over here and there there we go. So now it comes into there, and then we just need to help them uh, turn around, get back in the loop. I bet I need to delete one of those stops. Yeah, there we go. Now it goes in and comes out. Okay, that's what I was trying to do. So it goes in and comes out there. Um, and let's just follow along. Yeah, it's got stops on both sides there, which is good. And then one stop over here. Okay. I think we'll just leave that one as it is, as that is going backwards and forwards. Okay, that's that one there. Uh, then we've got our metro line number three, which is the one that's coming up here. So this is coming all the way over to sort of our entertainment district that you've got going on. Um, that runs down here. And again, branches off into this long section here. 
Okay, so this is where you're trying to sort of cross over one line into another. Again, I'm going to stop it going all the way up there and all the way down. People will transfer quite happily. I'd like to add another metro station in here somewhere. Oh, auto save, quick sip of tea. And I'm thinking one near here would be good. Maybe on the other side of the road. Like that. Let's just pause the game. And then we're going to take out this connection here. I'm going to go for this one here. Excellent. Curve that around there. And then we'll remove these stops from up here. There we go. So that one comes over here and then goes all the way up to our entertainment district and back again, which is good. Um, people are going to be crossing over here. Let's come out of this view if we can. There we go. People are going to be crossing over here quite a lot. So I'm just wondering whether we could just add a little path over the top so they're less likely to cross over uh, by the road, which would be nice. There we go, they can come out, cross over the top, and come down around the other side. Excellent. And then finally, we've got Metro Line 4. Let's see where that one goes. So that one also comes up the top here. Uh, it comes all the way down over here. And loops all the way around up over to here. So we do have a lot of lines that are sort of crossing over each other. Um, let's just see whether you've got stops on both sides again only stops on one side So when it's coming back, it's not picking anybody up. So let's add that in there. That is definitely going to help um, Let's follow this line up here. So we might find actually yeah, that is a long That is coming through here and again stops only on one side. Let's do that So again, they're crossing over just to go straight up over there So I'm wondering whether we just need this to stop over here instead because we've already got the yellow one that goes up there something else you can do as well if you have the vehicles of the world pack you're going to get access to a lot of different metros so we've got the standard metro uh, which we know the size of those if we go onto a different line is 150 uh, but you've also got the high capacity metro i've added to this line here which has a size of 500 so that is going to absolutely decimate your queues and get those down. And we've also got some other ones on here. Uh, let's change this one on here. We've got a subway train, which I think is... Let's have a look at the size of this one. I think that's 150 as well, isn't it? Let's wait for the vehicles. Oh, 400. Okay, so we've got a few different options there. So any of your lines that are really filled with trains and you've got that extra pack then certainly you can add those on and that will help. Okay, so I'm letting the metros run for a while. Just back over here on this little entertainment island again. Um, I've set up this side of the roundabout similar to this one here so people can easily get uh, in and out much, much quicker. And I want to move the metro stop. Having it right here by a junction, really not the best place. I'm thinking of putting it right at the back here. We've got a nice big row that's going to give access to everywhere. I just think that will be so much better. Keep our traffic away from the other traffic. There we go. And then I'm also going to move some of these bus stops down here. I mean, you've got them stopping right outside the stadium, which is probably why you had your metro there. But to be honest, people will walk across this island quite happily. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is try and sort of spread these stops out a bit. And you've got a lot of stops right near each other, um, which I really don't think we need. So I'm going to take... Actually, I'm not entirely sure if all your lines are the same colour. They are. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to just quickly change the colour of all of these. There we go. Everything a slightly different colour. And it does look like all the stops up here are all exactly the same bus, which is then making it sort of wiggle all over the place uh, very strangely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove uh, some of these stops that we've got down here and just sort of spread them out a bit. We just don't need that many. Okay, I think this works a lot better. Now the bus line just goes around the outside of the city. And actually, I'm just looking at it, and that's all it does. It just literally goes around the outside of the, uh, not the city, this little entertainment island, um, bringing people to the metro and to these other, got the train station there. I've got to be honest, probably don't need it. People will work walk longer than you think. Look, we've only got 92 people using that one. 
Uh, they're queuing up and they're using it. Okay, we'll leave it. We'll leave it. They're obviously wanting to get across there. And of course, they can't necessarily... Oh, jump again. Can't necessarily cross from one side to the other unless they use that. So, yeah. Okay, we'll leave it in there. We'll leave it in there. But that is definitely helping the traffic on here already. This is not backing up down here anymore. This is a little bit slow to come out, but it's getting there. Um, I just need to sort of finagle this junction a little bit now that we've got all of this going on. Um, let's see the yeah see that's not going to work we don't want those going around there so what do we want these doing we want this coming down here and it could also go and then this one yeah this one will go straight on and that will stop it cutting across the traffic and then from there they can get to everywhere else that they need to they don't need to cut across so i think that will help and then we've got these people here getting stuck Yeah, I feel like we need more lanes going down here, but I think that should be okay. I'm not sure whether that's put a traffic light in there. No, it hasn't. So what have we got? Give way. You going on. Give ways at the side. I'm just going to remove that and let that run. And I bet that will probably uh, solve that problem. We don't need traffic lights there. So we'll do give way there. Everything else going around. I definitely have give way there. Lots of people walking. Good. Getting down to the ferry lines. Lots of people walking over here to use the metro. Excellent. I'd have that as a giveaway. I'd have that. Oh, there we go. Look, that's what you want to see. You want to encourage walking as much as possible and to remove traffic lights where you don't need them. And there we go. Look, traffic is all gone in this area, which is great. Unfortunately, I had a quick chat with the Zuma. I didn't realize it had a load of assets in this city as well, which were basically car parks. Any sort of blank spots that you might see like this next to you know some of these bigger places they're probably for parking um which i didn't realize so they haven't appeared but yeah that is looking good so the only problem we've got left now which is dropping our traffic down is back over here this place where we first started down here yeah we need to have a serious think about what we're going to do with this spot here Okay, let's see what we can do with this area here. I've just been sort of looking at it for a while, trying to get in my head what we've got going on. So we've got our main collectors that come up and down here. Uh, we've also got this one here, which is where your tram comes over the top, being used as sort of a mini collector. And then we've got this one here. So it's getting super busy. Um, it does mean along here, because there's a lot of four-way junctions that we don't have roads with dedicating turning lanes going in all the different directions. So I am wondering in this case whether we should upgrade these to uh, six lane roads just so we can get yeah dedicated lanes for each direction so let me just grab this one here with the trees let's get this above ground hopefully this is the right size yeah so let us come along here and just carefully upgrade this one going through the middle there we go and then it disappears here underneath which is fine and then what we can do we can come through here with our lane arrows dedicated turning lanes control left click so now we get a left a right and a straight on uh, in each direction now some of these of course there's not a, it's only a t-junction uh, instead of a crossroads but for most of them there we go we can go along here and do that and that will give lots of nice dedicated turning lanes all the way along and then it can go back to normal here because this is only a t-junction and then the roads that are coming out i mean on a road that's as busy as this i would not want them trying to cross over i'd want them just to come out and follow the flow of the traffic which means you need a, a, an easy access to a roundabout which you do have this end this end if we force people to turn right they're probably going to start going through the blocks they could come all the way down here I mean, that might just be the way that that's got to go. Also, something else I spotted, this red bus route here. Uh, this is the one that sort of loops around here. I'm going to move this stop to the other side of the road. Oh, I want to stop it looping around the wrong way. I want it to come down there, come around here. Is there some one-way roads in? There is one-way roads in here. Oh, of course, yes. We've got one way going down there and up there. Okay, what we're going to do is turn those around the other way. Like that. And then we'll check that stop again. Yep, and now if we move it over... Nope! Now they're going to come... <laughs> come on now, buses! Now they're just going all over the place. Hang on a second. Okay, there we go. Now I've changed these roads to two-way roads, and I've sorted out the lanes, so they're all going in the right direction. So we can have that stop. I mean, I'm going to move it as far away from the main road as possible. We're going to pop it all the way down there. 
And then we're just going to check how many buses are on this line. This is bus line one. 25 vehicles. I mean, they're all pretty crammed. They're all down here. We do have larger buses available. Um, so these hold 30. Of course, we've got the airport DLC. Um, we could use the double-decker bus, which I believe will give us... Let's just wait for those to appear on here. 60. So we've doubled instantly. So I'm going to drop this down to 12. And I think that is really going to help that line. And we could do that on any other lines that we've got a ton of vehicles. Let's have a look. Yeah, so we're going to do that on this one as well. Double decker bus. We've got the super bendy buses and things like that, but they're pretty big. So let's drop that down to just slightly above half. I'm going to do that with the rest of these. Number 10. I think probably that would be enough, actually. We'll do it with that one. There we go. Drop that down to... Don't forget as well, even though it holds more, if it's a very long line, it's going to take longer to get down the line and back again. So, yeah. We'll leave that one like that. Okay, so let's see how things are going down here. And um, what I also want to do then, so we've got dedicated turning lanes if you're going along the main road. Um, I also want to make sure that all the roads... Let's take this one here. Coming in. Oh, we've got time traffic lights and things. Of course we have. I'm going to remove those now from on here. So let's stop that and remove. I'm going to do that all the way along here. I think I added these in earlier, didn't I? It's been it's been about a week since I started recording this one because, yeah, I got COVID. But today's the first day I'm actually feeling like I'm getting back to normality. It's taken just so long. Yeah, for these ones coming out here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put so they've got the two lanes like that. But then I'm going to force them not to cross the traffic. It's too big a road. So they can go left and right. Yeah, so let's do that all the way along here. Uh, that is a... I want to say metro. <laughs> oh, my brain. Tram. That is a tram road, so we can't change that one. But all these other ones... And that one there. There we go. And then we can just change these so they don't cross over. I need to let this one cross over because that's going to affect the tram. So this one here might end up with the traffic lights. Uh, we'll see. And then we'll do the ones on the other side as well. Okay, so this main road is running much, much better. This isn't getting clocked up, clogged up, I should say. Not clogged. Clogged up uh, with so many buses, which is good. So that's going to take a while for that to go down. Um, I think we are going to need a traffic light on this one here, just because they have to go straight over. So I think what we'll do is we will use a time traffic light on here. We'll do time traffic light, control, left, click quick setup like that and then we might need to adjust it to let these ones go through a bit quicker unfortunately because this is also jam-packed down here it's just taking i'm just going to look at your roads again so we've got like the main collector here main collector here and then all of this so we've got this main collector comes through here and then it just hits this and converts to a small road, which is where I think your problem is. People are trying to get through this section, and that's why they're using this here and this here. So we haven't got a good collector connection through both of these. Let me just consider that for a moment. Actually, what I'm doing, which I find is helping, is every time it comes into one of these little triple connections, I'm putting dedicated lanes like that in. Uh, where that comes up to this sort of... You've got half a collector here i've done the same and that's already cleared all the traffic coming down here which is good so it's just giving some dedicated lanes don't worry these bus stops will sort themselves out in a minute and then the rest of this i mean this is like down here uh, where this is getting busy so we can do that we can do that and we can do that so that will just help clear up a little corner like that uh here as well what have we got going on here You've got like another mini collector, which has then, of course, added a traffic light uh, because of that. Yeah, there we go. In fact, I'm going to turn that one around. It's more important to have that coming out. And we'll do dedicated turning lanes like that. And I'm also going to turn off that traffic light and say give way there and just let these people go. Just so that that doesn't clog up. 
Unless this is moving okay. So rather than rebuild the road, I mean, the other option was to try and have this collector road continue through here somehow. I was sort of thinking maybe of bringing this one. I mean, I'll, I'll suggest this if you want to rebuild it. I tend to try and not rebuild huge swathes of people's cities when they send them in. But if you have this carry on down here, come around the coast, then come down here and connect up. You've then got that collect collector. I keep wanting to say connector. That collector connected all the way through. Uh, and that would probably work a bit better. So how's this looking down here? Oh, look at that. This is getting so much better. 81%. What have we got people stopping here for? Oh, yeah, we've got traffic lights here, haven't we? Let's get rid of those. That's a time traffic light thing. Yeah, we don't need those now. Whether I, I might have put those in before. But we don't need them, so we're going to have the main road keep going. There we go, and our side roads and straightaway. Look at that. That clears up. Oh, this is this is so much better, isn't it? This is running so much better. Even this road here that was sort of being used as a side collector because it sort of cuts through with our trams. Oh, look, that's just... That has just cleared itself right up. Still going to be a bit busy through here. This time, traffic light might need a tweak. But getting up around 80% without rebuilding any roads, I think that's pretty good. I'm just going to leave this to, to run for a little bit, and then I think our job is done. Yeah, there we go. 81%, 82% looks going up. And the city's grown to even bigger than it was before, which is fantastic. So if you'd like to see me fix your city, be sure to check out the link in the description below to submit your city. I would love to uh, have some more to have a look at. If you've enjoyed this one, please leave a thumbs up as well. And I will see you all soon. Have a fantastic day. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.